all right welcome back in this section i'm gonna go over the fixed versus floating parts in solidworks assembly so for example the first part as i said before is always you're going to be the fixed part the first part that you put in solidworks will be your fixed part now you can change that you can change that at any time of your in your uh assembly but you have to rec recognize which one is the assembly and which one is the floating part which one is fixed versus which one is floating how can you tell if you click on the part that you have right now we only have one part it highlights it on top right well there's an f right before the part name if you see that f that means this is your fixed part okay now unfortunately the opposite of fixed is floating and they both start with the letter f so they can't have f for the floating parts so let's go ahead and learn how to bring in another part from solidworks uh, to and place it into the assembly mode over here okay so to bring in another part there's a bunch of ways to do this okay one way i'm going to open up my folder over here in the assembly and files one way to do so is if i just want to i already know which one i'm bringing in so i'm going to minimize this if i want to take this my part left click on it and then drag it and as you can see when you drag it to solidworks it will appear over here and you just let go and solidworks will automatically place it in here okay so that's really nice remember solidworks is uh windows based so everything works as windows control copy control paste all of that stuff is very much like windows so if you're very familiar with how to use windows you'll find a lot of features and a lot of shortcuts are same exact as windows okay so you just dragged your part into the SOLIDWORKS and the screw into SOLIDWORKS and this is one way to do this, okay? Another way, you can click on Insert Component button and the Insert Component option comes up. This is the same way when we first started. If you notice, the parts that are show up over here are the parts that you have open in SOLIDWORKS. So for example, I'm going to exit this and I'm going to click on my part and then hit Delete to remove it from my assembly and my part will go away. So let's say I want to open up that part. So I'm going to open up my half inch part and it's going to open up in its own document in SOLIDWORKS. All right. Now I'm going to minimize it. Minimize this as well. Now this is my assembly. No, this is my part. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go to my assembly. Now when you minimize them, you're going to notice that the assembly one will have that green square on a uh, part of the cube of the graphics. So that's how you know it's, an, it's your assembly. So let's go ahead and maximize this and go back to insert component now you're going to see your screw show up over here what does that mean that means solidworks will show all the parts that you already have open that are live open in solidworks so for example if i also go in and make any change to any of these parts and then go back to the assembly it will update on its own so let's go ahead and uh, look at that so if i minimize this I'm going to open this part and let's just create a little chamfer right at this corner over here. Okay. I'm going to do a constant size and I'm just going to click on this edge right here just to create a little chamfer and then click OK to accept it. I'm going to minimize this and open my assembly back up again. It's going to give you the option models containing within the assembly have changed. Would you like to rebuild the assembly? Now you have the chance to say no as well as highlight don't show again. If you do so, it will not update but if you click on yes it will update and it will try to always update every time you um, open up the part and make them changes so for example if i go back open up my part again and just delete that fillet that you created last minimize that part again open it up again and then click on yes to update it open up your part and there you go it updates in the assembly mode remember we're in assembly 5 we haven't saved our part yet okay so that's a nice feature uh, in going back and forth with parts. So all you have to do for the open parts is change a little feature if you want and you're able to go back into the assembly and it's all updated. Now it gets a little complicated when it's a surface that you've made it to another surface. So for example, if there's a surface that you've made it to another surface and say I wanted to come here and make this a lot, you know, smaller in height, uh, you know, and you have this surface made it to another part, then that part will go down as well okay or if you if i delete this entire section which i had parts made it to this entire bottom section and and i had parts made it to when you go back in here you're going to have some errors because solidworks is going to recognize that you have made from one section to the other and we'll be going over that as well 
Okay, so those are two ways you can uh, place an assembly over here. Uh, you can also click on insert, component, and existing part assembly or new part uh, that you create and then place in there, okay? Uh, so that's another way to uh, place parts in here, okay? There's also the drop down arrow, which is the same options that you have under the insert components as well. So there's multiple ways you can in uh, place another new part into uh, SolidWorks assembly.